Multi-streaming is very popular, especially with a horizontal platform like Twitch or YouTube and a vertical platform like YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram. And doing those and combining everything to make it nice and seamless requires some workarounds sometimes. But what if I told you there's a platform that makes it easy, no plugins, all done, you just set up things, you hit go, no extra downloads, yeah, this does exist and you can use it right now. It's actually Streamlabs desktop and they want to tell you about their new dual output feature as well as some other updates that they've done alongside this feature to make things better for you as a streamer. Now for full transparency, this video is sponsored by Streamlabs to talk to you about this feature. So let me get in here and show you what they would like for you to know. Before we get anywhere, I want you to go ahead and know that this link is down in the description. It's basically a written tutorial on what I'm gonna be showing you today visually uh, on what out dual output is, how you can set it up. You can also apply for your stream key for uh, TikTok to be able to stream on TikTok through Streamlabs desktop. Everything is in here. This is a great place to go if you need to have some kind of like written thing to do this tutorial. I'll leave this down in the description. First step is to actually go and download Streamlabs desktop. I'll leave the link for that down in the description. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you need to go and sign in with your account and your socials down here in the bottom left. It'll ask you to either sign in with your Streamlabs ID or sign in with the platform that you would like to start with. Once you're signed in, let's go ahead and enable dual output. And it's really easy to do right here at the sources panel. There is a button that says enable dual output to stream to horizontal and vertical platforms simultaneously. And when you click this it will pop up a brand new panel in the settings page as well as put up the horizontal output and vertical output tab from here you can actually choose the canvas and the output resolution for both horizontal and vertical as well as what fps you want to be streaming for that specific canvas now the way that this works is pretty intuitive you add a source in just like any other source that you would normally have on the actual horizontal output and what you can see here is i have one called face cam vert and beside each source you can actually actually see hide from horizontal or hide from vertical and you can just go ahead and click that and hide it from each individual panel allowing you to basically add a bunch of sources and customize what is on each page like for example if you've got alerts specifically for one or specifically for another for example on the vertical I have game and new worlds the game I've been playing and you can see that I put that text over here but not on the horizontal canvas and all I did was for the text right here it says hide or show in vertical or horizontal I just hit it in horizontal We've also added a really cool feature and I want to show you this. You used to go right click the canvas and choose performance mode, basically hiding the canvases, kind of saving some GPU resources. It also, and let me just go ahead and turn uh, my camera off. It would actually hide the monitoring for the audio, which I did not like because I wanted to see that, but also hide the canvas. But what you can do now is right here above all of your scenes, you have this button, which is to hide the horizontal or the vertical display, kind of freeing up those resources without losing everything else that's as a part that performance mode sometimes takes away. And especially for those of you using like vertical second monitors like I am, having both canvases really makes things small. So I typically hide the vertical one and just keep the horizontal one up. Now you wanna make sure that you actually have all of your platforms connected to be able to actually stream it to them. So under settings, you can go to stream and you'll be able to see all the stream destinations that are here, Facebook, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, X, whatever the case, YouTube, all these things. You can sign in and link them here, which makes it really nice and be able to stream to all of those platforms at one time. And I'll show you how you toggle things on and off, but just so that you know, if you're a free user of Streamlabs, you get one horizontal and one vertical, which is really cool because you can do like Twitch and TikTok, Twitch and YouTube Shorts, YouTube and TikTok, whatever the case. But if you want to unlock even more streaming, you can actually do Streamlabs Ultra. By the way, just check the link in the description. There's a code that can actually help you out. It's an affiliate link. It supports the channel. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, but let's go ahead and show you what it looks like once you have everything linked. Oh, and you can do like custom RTMP stuff like URL and stream keys. Anyway, once you have everything linked, you can actually hit go live and it'll pop up the new panel, which will show you where you can toggle horizontal or vertical for each output. So you can turn off the destination. For example, maybe I don't want to stream on Facebook, but I want to stream on Twitch and I want to stream on my YouTube, my primary chat. I'll just make it Twitch and I can choose. Do I want to do YouTube horizontal or vertical or Twitch horizontal or vertical? Maybe I want to stream on TikTok as well. And this allows you to toggle these on or off and figure out what canvas you want to send where. 
really cool. This is what's kind of the bread and butter of this is it's one simple platform, one canvas. It goes out really neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a test stream and I'm gonna show you some clips that's happening from it. So where you can see that I'm on multiple platforms, both horizontal and vertical, so you can understand what it looks like. And I wanna to talk to you about how chat works and how they combine it inside Streamlabs desktop as well. Oh man, let's get out of town and let's let the, uh, we'll let the computer calm down. Let it relax. Oh man. Let's get out of town and let's let the, uh, we'll let the computer calm down. Let it relax. What you can see right here is I just have Twitch as the dedicated chat. I've got Echo 08, my community manager just dropped in for our little test stream right here. Uh, and then multi-stream, you can see that I'm live. I'm over unlisted right now. I was on YouTube um, and you can see that it just combines the chat right here, but you can actually hit all. And if I say hello, I can actually respond to all of the chats that I'm live in. So it'll send it over to Twitch and then it should send it over to YouTube. You can see that as well. Really cool, really neat. I love this system and how easy it was to not only like get this going, uh, but then you also get your multi-stream chat right here. Something else that they leave here is this little information bubble above stream chat. They'll tell you exactly what platforms that you can read the chat from, which is like YouTube, Twitch, any of the Facebook stuff, Twitter, as well as Trove you can't read Instagram or TikTok chat at this time in Streamlabs. And you can also post comments like I just did a minute ago to YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook pages, but not profiles, depending on what you're live to. Once again, I want to say thank you to Streamlabs for sponsoring this video and making this feature specifically to where it's free for one horizontal and vertical. So you, you can just go ahead and do this and get in on it to be able to do TikTok without having a thousand followers, to be able to do all of this without downloading extra plugins, just one platform, simple, easy, straightforward. Yeah. Make sure you comment down below what your thoughts are on this and check out one of these two videos, especially this one. I'm sure you're going to love it. We'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a great day.